Hey guys, Richard Oldner here. Welcome to the channel. Today's question, what are cams worth on a Gen 5 5.3 liter L83? And more importantly, which kind of guy are you? Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 3, Stage 4. Pew, 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 pew. Which guy are you? In this video, we're going to find out how much a cam upgrade is worth on a 5.3 liter Gen 5 L83. We tested stages 1 through 4 from Brian Tooley Racing. Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 3, Stage 4. And we tested intake manifolds. We did an L86 6.2 liter intake manifold upgrade compared to the 5.3 liter L83 intake manifold. And not just on one cam. We did it on multiple cams. So how much was the intake worth? How much were the cams worth? There's only one way to find out. Let's get going. Okay guys, what do you think? That motor sounds pretty impressive. I love the way that they sound on the dyno, but we need to find out how much cams are worth to get things started. So we had our 5.3 liter L83. BTR has a ton of them. If you guys are looking for 5.3 liters, they got a bunch of brand new crate motors available. And this was one of them used as a test motor. This thing made 405 horsepower and 436 foot-pounds of torque. And you might be asking yourself, but Richard, they're not rated at that kind of power. They're not, and here's why they make this much power. First of all, they're rated differently whether you run them on gasoline and E85. Obviously, the E85 rating is higher. E85 makes more power. It allows you to run more timing, which they did from the factory. This particular motor also had long tube headers and a good three inch exhaust with mufflers. It also had no accessories on it. It had an, an external electric water pump flowing water through the motor, so no accessories. Um, it also had obviously uh, James for short tuning was uh, doing the tune, so it had an optimized tune to maximize the power, both in terms of air fuel timing and cam timing, which is very important. So it had an optimized tune, no accessories, a good exhaust. Obviously the air intake was also good and it was run at about 155 or so degrees. So usually lower than we do uh, run on the in when it's in the vehicle. Usually the te temperatures are much hotter than that. And as I said, we ran it on E85. So all of that going for it, that run with a what Brian Tooley Racing calls a DOD delete cam, which is basically the factory specs, but it allows you to get rid of the heavy DOD lifters and run the cam without the DOD. So again, 405 horsepower, 436 foot-pounds of torque. I really like how broad the torque curve is on these factory VVT motors. This Gen 5 stuff is really impressive. It has high compression, it has VVT, it has really good head flow, and it has a good intake manifold. So it has a lot of stuff going for it. So this thing is a lot more powerful than your garden variety Gen 3 or Gen 4 5.3 liter. But that's not to say that they don't respond to cam timing, especially when you retain the VVT stuff, which again allows you to have a broad curve. So let's take a look at the different stages from Brian Tooley Racing. Here is their stage one cam. And the thing that I want you to know is, first of all, that even from a mild stage one cam, we went from 405 or 406 horsepower all the way up to 439. So that's a gain of 33 horsepower. Obviously, it allows you to rev the motor up further. The peak torque was up as well as we would expect, 459 foot-pounds, which is a lot of torque for a 5.3 liter. And note, note that even down all the way down to 2,500 RPM, there was no loss in low-speed power. But remember, <laughs> the critical point of all this is you have to have a good tuner. If you have a tuner that can optimize this combination, you can get all of the power from it. But it's just as easy to lose power if the tune is not correct because you've got three things that you have to adjust, air fuel timing and cam timing, and all that stuff is super critical. So the Stage 1 cam worked very well. It made good power. And this is an interesting thing. When we went to the Stage 1, 2, 3, 4 cams on the 5.3 liter, you could take a look at that videos up on the Gen 3 and Gen 4 stuff, um, there starts to be a fairly sizable trade-off in torque down low for the gains up top. The VVT helps kind of eliminate that, but let's take a look. Let's take a look now at the Stage 2 cam. 
And we could see that the Stage 2 cam did pick up power, and, and interestingly enough, it kind of picked up power everywhere, even compared to the Stage 1 cam. So there were no losses. It was better than the, state, better than the stock cam everywhere, basically. Uh, peak torque was up to <laughs> a whopping 460 foot-pounds, so just a little bit over the um, Stage 1 cam. The peak power out of the top, as we would expect, was a bit better, 448 yeah, 448 horsepower. So the stage two, a little bit better than the stage one. And with no losses down low. So normally when I'm talking about guys wanting a 4.8 or a 5.3 and the different stage truck cams that Brian Tooley offers for the Gen 3 and Gen 4 stuff, I like to put them in the smaller ones so that they don't have the trade-off unless they're going to put a converter in it. But for these things, it looks like that there's no loss. So maybe the bigger cam is the stage two is definitely the way to go. But let's find out what happened when we ran this when they ran the stage three. Again, stage three, more power. Power was up to 455 horsepower. Peak torque was, you know, kind of all but unchanged, was 458 foot pounds of torque. So you're again, you're kind of splitting hairs there. There was a slight, maybe a slight loss in torque, but again, you're you're juggling two or three or four foot pounds of torque. It's not really very much. I'm going to zoom in on that once we step up to the stage four cam. So now let's take a look at the final one, which is the stage four truck or the stage four L83 cam. And you can see there's a sizable gain there. The, the stage four is 479 horsepower and peak torque is kind of right even with the others, 456 or 457 foot pounds. So it's all kind of in that range, but it shifted out a little farther. Now there was a loss and what I'm gonna do here is try to zoom in and we can kind of see, well, let's get a better, let's get a little bit better zoom than that. We can kind of zoom in in the important area. We can see the blue is still the factory one. You can see everybody is above that. But this lighter green is the stage three cam or the stage four cam. And it is down a little bit compared to the others. It's looking like the stage two is kind of the best one. But even in zoomed in, this looks like a lot more than it is. But we're talking about 416. So we're talking about 10 foot pounds down there. So again, it always comes down to where do you want your power production? And the other thing that's very important to note is that on the stage four cam, it will require notching the piston. Now, when I say notching, you actually don't need a valve notch tool. And this might be another video I'll do with Brian. He's telling me that all you have to do basically is knock a very small edge off the big dome part of the factory uh, L83 piston. So it's something you could do if you pulled the heads, you could do with a motor in the car because you don't need a specific valve cutting tool. It's not that you need to put a pocket in the piston. All you need to do is knock this, uh, this small portion down on that factory L83 piston and away you go. Then you can install the stage four cam. Otherwise, stages one through three fit with the stock available piston valve clearance. Now let's take a look at some intake tests. Now that we've taken a look at the power gains offered by the stages one through four cams after by Brian Tooley Racing for the L83, let's take a look and see what happens when we upgrade the intake going from the factory L83 intake up to the larger 6.2 liter L86 intake manifold. Now this was our combination. This is our 5.3 liter L83. It has slightly different camshaft in it. It actually had a 6.2 liter L86 or LT1 DOD delete cam. So it's the stock cam profile, but getting rid of the displacement on demand. And for your information, if you put an LT1 or an L86 camshaft in your 5.3 liter L83, it definitely picks up power. It will be a power upgrade. But equipped with that camshaft, our 5.3 liter produced 438 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque with the L83 intake. Now here's what happened when we install the L86 intake manifold. It did pick up power from about 4,000 on up. It picked up a little bit of power. The peak power was up to 445 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 466 foot pounds. And as you can see, it lost no torque even all the way down to 2,500. But this was with a fairly mild camshaft in it. So the L86 is a decent upgrade. Now let's take a look and see what happens when we test this on something that has even more cam timing in it. The next comparison between the L83 5.3 liter intake and the 6.2 liter L86 intake came on our 5.3 liter L83, but it was equipped with the BTR stage three camshaft, which made 455 horsepower 
and 458 foot-pounds of torque with the stock 5.3 liter L83 intake manifold and throttle body. Here's what happened when we upgraded to, or the guys from BTR upgraded to the L86 intake manifold and throttle body. You can see it did pick up power. Peak power was up to 466 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 464 foot-pounds of torque. And as you can see, it gained power from a little less than 4,000, maybe 3,900 all the way out. Didn't lose any power, although it looks like maybe all the way down below 2,600, there may be a slight change in power down there. Um, but basically gains like we saw with the milder combination, even with the stage three cam. And it looks like the gains are a little bit more with more cam timing, which we kind of would expect from intake manifold. As we go up in power, the better intake gets worth to be more and more power. So now let's take a look at maybe a stage four cam. The final comparison between the L83 and the L86 intake manifold on our 5.3 liter L83 came with the stage four cam, which was the biggest of the cams, the one that required you notching the piston to fit. It did make the most power run with a stage four cam and the L83 intake. This combination made 479 horsepower and 457 foot-pounds of torque with the L83 intake manifold. And here's what happened. And this is a, a perfect example of why you need to continue to test and test and test and test all these combinations because sometimes you find different results. Now we would expect with this bigger cam that the gains to be even greater with the L86 intake manifold, but here's what happened. So if we take a look at the gains offered by the L86 intake manifold on this stage four cam, we see that it did indeed improve power. Peak power was up to 486 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 461 foot-pounds. But as you can see, the gains were not as pronounced with this bigger cam as they were on the on the two previous smaller cams. So again, that's why it's important to test. So if you're expecting big gains um, <laughs> from your intake manifold choice, you have to make sure possibly to team it with the right camshaft. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay guys, what's the takeaway from our cam and intake testing on the Gen 5 5.3 liter L83? First of all, these respond very well to cams. Just like the previous Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS stuff, the LT5 responds very well to the cams, but it have to be the right cams. And the awesome thing is all these cams retained VVT, which was kind of cool to be involved in that testing. Watch the guys from Brian Tooley Racing go after these VVT cams because it's hard to get big gains from a motor that's already working very well. And as we saw in the other video where I compared the Gen 3 and Gen 4 5.3 liter versus the Gen 5 5.3 liter, the Gen 5 motor is head and shoulders above all of those. And part of the reason for that is the VVT cam timing. So if you make better cams, better VVT cams, not only can you make more peak power, but you can make a ton more average power and not lose anything down low. And that's what everybody wants. We basically want all the torque down low and all the power up top. The other interesting thing was the intake manifolds. The L86 intake manifold is definitely an upgrade compared to the factory 5.3 liter L83 intake manifold, but your gains may vary. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, more and more Gen 4, Gen 5, and all kinds of other testing coming up.